so I thought I'd show you something uh, a little bit different. <clears throat> um, now I've seen this, one of my mates, uh, Ryan Houston, did this as a, a jig for perch, um, another predatory fish. However, um, I fished it last year in Pittsford and a little bit in Rutland when the perch fry were on the go, but more so at Pittsford for the perch fry. And to be fair, <laughs> it was really, really good. But I've also used it in small still waters. Um, it's a lure, but it's a blooming big lure. There's quite a bit of tying to it. So I'll kind of go through the steps and what you need and everything. But it's just, it's one of these things. It looks, well, it looks too big to catch fish. But then you look at a snake and you think, well, yeah, I kind of get it. But yeah, this is this is a great fly. Loads of mobility, lots of bulk, um, and I think that movement sort of makes it really attractive. So this one, um, Fire Tiger Perch is the name for it. Originally a jig. This one's for pulling. Um, fish it on a floating line or a sinking line, but float it on the drop, it works really well. Works really well in the harbours, actually. Um, but it's a good bet, especially for the early season on the reservoirs for some of the bigger fish. So... Let's go ahead and tie it. The first thing we need is a big hook. So we've got this 900 BL size 8. Big hook. Stick them in the vise. Make sure it's lined up nice and straight. Now there's a lot of materials on this, so we'll go through it. You need them um, large bead chain eye. Before you go and spend a fortune on that stuff, go to B&Q, you can get it there. Pair of snips to cut the eyes, so that's what I use. And there's your eyes, done. So, first thing we'll do, we'll just move some stuff out of the way. Is I'm running a, sorry I've got that in my mouth, running a bit of tying thread. A good bit of bulk there. And with my scissors, have this stuff at the ready. And we lock this in place, leave a little bit at the front of the hook because we're going to put a little bit of dubbing in there. So leave a little bit between the eyes, the chain bead eyes, and the eye of the hook. Now if you do figure eight wraps here, what it does is it locks everything in place and stops it moving. Like so. But just to be sure, a little bit of glue. Stuck in there. Sorted. Now to create the bulk, there's no much better than this stuff. So because we're doing this fire tiger style, um, I'm using melon F and F Daphne. It's really, really thick and clunky stuff. You can see that. But what to do is take a section, you get it everywhere, and pull the fibers off so you've got an exposed core. Okay, and then tie him in. And you just got to create a bit of bulk at the back here. Some thread wraps. So one turn, pull all the fibres back. Let's get hold of that bit there. And one more turn. That's it. So you've created like a, a butt, if you like. But a proper butt. And your scissors. Trim that. And then just butt everything up so you've got that lump. You can see what I mean. Buy it up with your tying thread. This is a black uh, 8 tying thread. Okay, so you've got that bulk there. I've then got this stuff. Um, so this is layer fringed wing from Vineyards. Great for predator flies. Really easy, a nice easy cheat because it's it's adhered to a little bit of tape like a skirt. So it's like a skirt. However, we're gonna cut that off. And the colour I've got is um, pearl fluoro yellow and chartreuse for the perch. Now, what I want to do is I want to try and spin this round the hook shank like deer hair. So take a bit with plenty green, plenty white, and mix the colours. Like so, not too much, but enough, and then snip that off there. 
So I've got this section to work with. And then just kind of roll it so you're happy. You get the length you want. And then a loop. Then another loop. And then try and spin. It doesn't spin like deer here, this stuff, but try and manipulate it with your um, with your fingers so it goes round the hook shank. So you've got round that. You can see I'm round that skirt. Maybe need a little bit more. A little bit more green. A little bit more green there on top. And then butt that right up against the end, like so. Stuff goes everywhere. Maybe move that light a bit so it's a bit dark. So in me your snips now, give me your scissors, and try and get as neat as you can. And don't worry about the other stuff. You can pull that other bit back and off the eyes, but just try and get everything away for the the eyes if you can. Easier said than done when it goes everywhere. So sometimes if you just wet your fingers, the fibres all over here. Um, to your fingers and come back. Try and get that stuff out of the way. Okay. Here we go. Not great, but enough. Anything that's spare there. So you can see that tail fans out like a skirt. So we now take some more of this um, Daphnia. And again, to, to you don't want too much bulk, expose the core. Come in, tie that in. Now you'll get about two or three turns here, so. Stroke the fibers back when you turn. One. Two. Gotta do one more and catch it. Three. But yeah, when it comes to fishing this, I think the bulk's what draws fish in. And it's a really big, bulky fly. And it moves a lot of water. If I do that, you can see the right colour. My lights. It's so bright. And I just pull all your fibres back like that. Oh, everything back. Okay. Like so. That's him. We've then got some hen. We need that mobility and we need a really big feather, so take it for the top of the, the cape. Uh, big feather there, look at that. Strip some of the flu away and then just take your, expose the tip like so and get that in. And just trim this, trim the tip off. Now, you're looking to cloak the fly now, so make sure all the fibres are going the right way. But you're cloaking that body. It'll get neat, don't worry. Pull the fibres back, cloak everything. Stroke the fibres back with every turn. Cloaking the whole fly. Any stray fibres that get caught, just make sure you pull them out. Last turn. And then secure. Oh, we can shred that up. In with your scissors. And trim. It's a bit garish just now, but we've got to tidy this up. Make it look more like a fly shortly. Pull all the fibres back, there's thumb and forefinger, cloaking that fly like so. And now we've got some um, black marabou, generous pinch, about an inch of the stuff here. Grab it in your thumb and forefinger and give it a wee wrap. And you want that to be longer, so half length of tail but longer than the the hackle and just catch that in. A couple of tight wraps here. Okay. 
You can see it's starting to look a bit more like a lure now. Then with your scissors. And then just some figure eight wraps in between the eyes. And finally, we just got to finish this off with some um, Soldarini 46 Peacock. Take a generous bunch and you've got a figure of eight that, round the thorax and then obviously through the eyes, so quite bulky. Round the thorax area a couple of times, figure eight through the eyes, like so. Just quickly turn that so you can see. Round eyes like so. Okay. And then we just pull everything back and tie off at the head. Because this is a big lure, I'll put a little bit of glue on there. Get that fibre out of the way. Then we get a whip finishing tool. Now the one thing to do just before you finish it is a little bit of Velcro and pull some of the fibres. Pull some of the fibres and that's him done. The fire tiger. An awesome, awesome lure for big fish. Try it. You're going to be disappointed. Oh, a little bit of varnish in there and you're good to go.